This delicious pie pairs the sweetness of candied lemon zest with the soft floralness of baked pears. And it all gets wrapped in a flaky, tender pot brise crust. To get started, it's nearly four pounds of a firm, ripe pear. These are Anjou pears, and there's about eight of them. And I'm just going to peel and slice. About three quarter inch wedges will give you the best texture of pear once it bakes, because pears do get quite soft in the oven. Big chef's knife to quarter them. And then a paring knife will take the core right out. Now that the core is out, I'm gonna go back to the chef's knife and slice. And I'll finish up my pears and then mix with the rest of the ingredients. Okay, all my pears are cut, so now I'm just gonna add the rest of the ingredients. A half a cup of sugar, quarter cup of cornstarch. This is the thickener. All of those juices that come out of the pears need to be thickened. Or it'll be a big mess when you slice into it. Then three quarter teaspoon of salt. A quarter cup of candied lemon peel. This is really the secret. It really adds a bright, tangy note to the pears. I always buy the whole nutmeg and just grate it. Just a quarter teaspoon, that's all you need. Then some lemon juice. I need two tablespoons. Okay, that's it, just give it a mix. And this is the filling for our pie. Okay, now for the crust. I'm gonna turn the dough as I go to keep it nice and round. And you can see the little butter clumps and that's what you want. That's how you know you have a well-made pastry because those butter clumps will turn into air pockets that'll create all the flakes on the dough. I'm gonna roll it up on the pin and into my nine inch pie plate. Just unroll it over the top. And then I'm just gonna use some scissors. And then I will put in all my luscious pears. Two tablespoons of butter over the top. This is just gonna add some richness to that pear filling. And I'll do my top crust. Roll this right over the top. And then scissors again. And now turn the top crust over the bottom crust. This will create a nice seal. I just wanna give a little bit of a decorative edge. Just kind of wave it around a bit. Now, with a double crust pie, it's always important to vent the top so that the crust will be flaky and not soggy. I'm gonna use leaf cutter and make a few marks right through the top, cutting all the way through the dough. Now that I have my leaves, I need my stem, and I'm gonna use a little cinnamon stick as a little stem of the pear. Now some egg wash. I'm just going to paint the whole top. Okay, that looks great. So this pie is gonna go into the freezer for about 30 minutes so that the crust really chills up, and then into a 375 degree oven. It'll take an hour and 15, hour and 30 minutes we want to see the juices bubbling through those vents, and then we know it's done. Into the freezer. Here is our finished beauty. It's cooled for at least four hours. I actually like to cool it overnight and cut it the next day, then I know it's perfectly set. Let's cut into it and see how it looks. A delicious pear pie, perfect for this time of year.